our text, Luke 18, verse 11. And the Pharisee stood and thus prayed to himself. Our heading, Imaginary Blessings. Now, let's take this year our Pharisee. He stood up in the Lord's house, and he thought he had the Lord's blessing, and it made him very bold, and he spoke with self-complacency. God, I thank you that I am not like the other men are, and so on and so on. First, but he was not blessed indeed. He was a mere wind back, nothing more, and the blessing which he fancied had fallen upon him, he never had, it never came. The poor publican, whom he thought accursed, went to his house justified rather than he. The blessing had not fallen on the man who thought he had it. Now, let every one of us here feel the sting of this rebuke and pray. Great and mighty God, save us from imputing to ourselves a righteousness which we do not possess. Save us from wrapping ourselves up in our own rags and fancying we have put on the wedding garments. Bless me indeed. Let me have the true righteousness. Let me have the true worthiness which you can accept, even that which is the faith in Jesus Christ. Second, now, if you be born again, then have you reason to rejoice. But if there is no vital change, no inward blessing, if there be no love to God, a love to prayer, no work of the Holy Spirit in your life, then you ought to be saying, I am saved, is but your own assertion, and it may delude, but it will not deliver you. Our prayer ought to be, Oh, that you would bless me indeed, with real faith, with real salvation, with a trust in Jesus that is the essential of faith. God preserve us from imaginary blessings. I have met with persons who said, I believe I am saved because I dreamt it, or because I had a text of scripture that applied to my own case. Such and such a good man said so and so in a sermon. Or, when I was still a young youngster, my mother said, Jesus lives in my heart. Because I took to weeping and was excited and felt as I have never felt before. But nothing will stand the trial but this. Do you renounce all confidence in everything but the finished work of Jesus? And do you come to Christ to be reconciled to Him and to God? That is the question in Jesus' name. Amen.